Hi everyone! Today we're going to be doing an activity that answers our central question, which is how can I create equivalent fractions? The Georgia Standard of Excellence that we will be using for this activity is to explain equivalence of fractions through reasoning with visual fraction pieces, compare fractions by reasoning about their size, and we'll be focusing on part B, which is to recognize and generate simple equivalent fractions with denominators of 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8. And you will see in our activity how it ties to this standard. Now let's review the definition of equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are different fractions that equal and represent the same number or value. So now let's look at the example of 1 third and 2 sixths. So with our fraction 1 third, the 1 is our numerator and the 3 is our denominator. The 1 is going to represent how many shaded pieces we have, and our 3 represents the total number of pieces, 1, 2, 3, and 1 piece is shaded. So now with 2, 6, now we have 6 total pieces, and we have 2 pieces that are shaded. So even though we have two different fractions, both of these fractions equal the same amount. Since we went from 1 third to 2 sixths, we had to double the amount of our total number of pieces, which also meant we had to double the amount of the number of shaded pieces. So when we doubled the amount, that means we multiplied our numerator times 2, and then our denominator times 2. And you'll notice whatever we do to our numerator, we have to do to our denominator as well. And so 1 times 2 is 2, and 3 times 2 is 6. So these two fractions, 1 third and 2 sixths, are equivalent. Now we're going to do an activity where you can create your own equivalent fractions and show the numerical value of how you can prove and by multiplying them. Each student will be given a Ziploc bag with all of the materials inside, which is these slips of paper that are going to represent our fractions. And then the students will also have a short worksheet that will go along with the activity as well. This will be an activity where the teacher starts off helping the students by guiding them through and then the students will move independently in finishing the activity. So the teacher will first start out with having our one whole fraction and by showing this to the students, so their students will pull out their one whole and place it in front of their desk. The teacher is going to tell the students to pull out their green slip of paper and then the matching slip of paper that is just plain and the teacher will explain that we're going to be making equivalent fractions based on the fraction one half. The students will now create two fractions that will both equal one half to show their equivalent fractions. They will line up their remaining pieces of paper to show that the fractions are equivalent even though there are different amounts and that there are different number of shaded pieces for each amount as well. So now when the students are completing the activity, they will see that they have four pieces of paper that are all similar in size and they will know that there will be two shaded pieces out of the total four. So the students will know that this is the fraction two fourths which shows that it's equal to one half. So these are equivalent fractions. The students will then begin to sort their remaining pieces. So they will see that we have eight different pieces and they will begin to sort them and line them up with our other fractions. And so now we have four total shaded pieces out of the four altogether total. And so since we have four shaded out of eight total, this is the fraction four eighths, which would be equivalent to two fourths, which is also equivalent to one half. So the students have now just created three equivalent fractions that all equal one half. The teacher will then explain that to go from our one-half to our two-fourths, that the numerator was multiplied by two, and that the, the denominator was also multiplied by two. And the same thing from going from two-fourths to four-eighths, that our numerator was multiplied by two, and our denominator was multiplied by two, to give us the fraction four-eighths. Students are welcome to label their pieces on the actual papers themselves, or whenever they come to fill out their first fraction, they will know that they've created the fraction of one half because we have one shaded piece out of two pieces total. 
Students then note that we multiplied our numerator by 2. 1 times 2 will give us two new shaded pieces. So we multiplied by 2. And we do the same thing with our denominator by 2, which gives us the fraction 2 fourths. And so students will then write in 2 fourths into the next box. Then students will know that we've multiplied by 2 again. So we've taken our two total pieces times 2 to give us four new shaded pieces. And we've done the same thing with our denominator, multiplied by 2. And so then we get the fraction 4 eighths. And so then you can point out and show your students that we've multiplied by the same number each time, multiplied by 2 and multiplied by 2. And all of these fractions are equivalent. And they can see the numeric way that we can create equivalent fractions, and then they can also see it with the hands-on activity where they've sorted their pieces of paper.